Hey there, SF Logic Ninja here, or you can call me David Earl, I don't care. You aren't using your marquee tool. Why? Let's change that. Okay, so here's the deal. Here's your project that you've been working on, slaving on, and there's this little area right here. It's called the command click tool. See that little symbol? This is a beautiful symbol. It's the marquee tool. The marquee tool is a wonderful thing. And you should be using it all the time. And here are some of the things it can do. I'm going to hold Command, and I get the Marquee tool. If I click and hit Play, Dude. we always play from the Marquee tool, even if I have a cycle mode on. And what's also kind of cool is if I hit Play, There's nothing that she would. it'll automatically stop at the end of that Marquee selection. To make a Marquee selection, of course, you just drag. It's so easy. Now check this out. And drag over this area and click. I've extracted those regions. Isn't that cool? There are a whole bunch of other things you can do. One of them is, here I've got some audio, right? I'm going to hit Z, zoom in on that stuff. And get my marquee tool. Hit my left and right arrow. And now I'm snapping to transients. Isn't that cool? And if I hold shift and hit the right arrow, it extends out. Shift in the left arrow, it extends out. Hit the right arrow, hold shift and hit the left arrow. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that awesome? And then what I could do, something really cool, if I hit just, just hit command R, it actually just copied that section over. It re repeated that area that I selected. Isn't that neat? Now, Another thing you can do with the marquee tool is if I open up my automation mode, a lot of people ask me about, well, what if I want to uh, you know, repeat some automation? Well, check this out. If I select an area like so and click, first of all, that makes four points. Now what I'm gonna do is create a little automation thing. I'll hold Shift and Control to create different curves, which is kind of fun. Now, check this out. One thing that's kind of neat, I can still extract that region by clicking up here. And what's kind of neat is you hold uh, Option and Command, you click up here, and what it's going to do is it's going to select that area of automation. Like I said, it's going to select the area of automation. There we go. Yeah. So there's that. There's that. Okay, we're cool. Now, if I hit Command R, look at that. That's kind of neat. Yeah, there's obviously this little doodad happening here, but um, it's just because it has to raise back to the same level pretty quick. Oh, and I have this. Yeah, I should probably do it like that. Let's try that again. Ah, oh, that looks much better. Cool. Get out of automation mode. So yeah, marquee tool. If I make a marquee stripe across several things and uh, hit the right and left arrow, it's actually looking at where all of the uh, transients line up, which is pretty neat. A lot of people I know aren't really using the marquee tool that much. You must stop that. You must start using the marquee tool. It is a wonderful thing. Anyway, if you go to, uh, well, I was going to stop, but then if you go to a MIDI region, it also does the same thing, which is pretty cool. Highly recommend getting into all of the things the marquee tool can do by hitting Option K and up here typing M A R Q. Look at all this wonderful stuff. Have fun with that. I'll talk to you later. Ciao.